Doc Brown and the famous DeLorean comes to the stage and it's right here outside the studio. Well, I hope we get to go inside there. I reckon I can get that to 88 miles per hour. What year would <laughs> you go back to? Not the theater. <laughs> uh, time now to get the news travel along the weather wherever you are. Sure. Union leaders will meet government ministers this morning over reports that Scunthorpe's British Steel is on the brink of collapse. 4,000 people are employed at the plant in North Lincolnshire. The Unite Union is urging the company's owner, Grable, to find a solution. A decision on an emergency loan is expected later today. Clues in West Yorkshire say they're concerned about the disappearance of a lead woman who went missing after a night out at the weekend. Hannah Barker, who's 21, went out in the city centre on Saturday night, but hasn't been seen since. West Yorkshire Police are appealing for anyone with information to contact them. Sir Rod Stewart has pledged more than £10,000 to have a group of model railway enthusiasts in Lincolnshire who have their train destroyed by vandals. The sets were ransacked at a school in Stamford at the weekend. Since then, donate donations have come forward from around the world. The Market Deacon Club says it will rebuild. As far as the layouts that are damaged, um, years. That's all I can say, years to rebuild properly. One layout in which I've been involved has been being rebuilt for five years and we won't even finish. So it takes a very long time. A law to give pregnant women and parents returning to work more protection from redundancy is being discussed in Parliament. One in nine women is forced out of a job due to maternity discrimination every year, according to the Equality and Human Rights Commission. Claire Heppenstall from Leeds says she's left in debt, suffering anxiety and missing out on the joys of new motherhood. I'm thinking, well, how, how am I going to be able to cope having no money, not to pay, pay the bills yet again? And then you've got this little bundle that you need to be looking after and enjoying your child and you do feel like that's taken away from you. Two Ed Sheeran concerts in Leeds this summer could be allowed to have crowds of up to 80,000 people each. Leeds councillors will vote on whether to allow bigger crowds at Roundhay Park. The crowd limit will be brought back down again after the concert in August. Now what does the weather have in store for you in September? This is it. Easy. Good morning. Well, we do have some patchy mist and low cloud to clear. But like yesterday morning, it will clear and we'll see plenty of sunshine develop. A very good chance of avoiding the shower today and staying dry with perhaps one or two isolated showers breaking up in the east this afternoon. Clearing the focus in that sunshine, 18 or 19 degrees in Lambeth, 66 Fahrenheit. Any showers continue for the time this evening, but they'll die away to give us a dry night. Clear at first, and as we head towards dawn, we will start to see some cloud pushing in from the west and we're looking at lowest temperatures of around about six or seven degrees. So tomorrow morning, first thing will be some clouds. It could be a little patch of light there and drizzle, but that will soon die out as it brightens back up with warm sunshine returning, 17 or 18 degrees, and it stays dry with further sunny spells on into Thursday, up to 19 degrees, 66 Fahrenheit. Sounds good to me. Do have a lovely morning, whatever you plan to do, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.